Hey crafters, uh, DM Scotty here. Good to have you with me on this uh, next part of the adventure. Uh, our players uh, kind of got uh, hit a dead end in the darkness area, and so I've kind of backtracked back out to the main area and I've taken another door. And uh, they happen upon a secret door which leads them into an interesting encounter. So uh, let's go to the table and we'll, uh, I'll show you how that played out. <laughs> All right, so what now? Well, figure out how to open the thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're just looking for the activation oh stone? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the block slides back. What do I see? You see this? You smiled. You went. <laughs> yeah, see something. I'm sure it's gonna be that freaking ghost that's murdering everybody. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to, to be able to. She'll put the paper the princess in the front. <laughs> the paper princess. <laughs> what? Like, the one that go up the upstairs. <laughs> if we die in this room, <laughs> I'll blame She's you. She's gonna shred you herself. <laughs> Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Why am I suddenly all to blame? Because <laughs> you hang back there, you're not doing anything with your little non magic self. What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't touch me now. No, okay. I've killed like three people oh, already. No. Who have you killed? <laughs> oh, oh Oops, sit in your corner. Get, get off me. Don't look at my stuff. Get away. Okay, you see uh, some. Uh oh, this isn't a good. Some. Um, this is like. This is like the magician behind the curtains. You see like some curtains hanging. Thank oh. you. <laughs> I was kidding. You said it. Oh shit. <laughs> uh oh. See a brazier in the corner. Oh. Those are cool. Did you make those? Yes, I did. Those are awesome. Isn't that cool? That's the coolest thing so far. <laughs> Sorry, I have to. Oh, that's alright. I see a desk. I have to admire our handiwork. Thank you. I see a desk. No. You're going to die. <laughs> Could be another little painting store or something. Like crap. Be like Wizard of Oz. What? I'd be like Wizard of Oz, the man behind the curtain. The last time I encountered curtains, it was not pretty. Hey, who are you? Mora. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you more on my fist. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are we doing the movements? And so, I think now? in your goblin, you should tell him that... Ninarin sent us. Okay. Send you for. She sent me to talk to you. Why are you in the secret passage? Because she said to come here and talk to you. She told us about the secret really? passage. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I getting promoted? 
Probably. <laughs> Is that what she said? Holy rat shit! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid elf. All right. You see somebody poke out from the curtain? Okay. Somebody. What is that? Looks like a goblin. Not a goblin. They say, you weak bean, you weak brain fool, they're intruders, attack! He's like, you mean I'm not promoted? But an R said I promoted. <laughs> um, you're gonna get your mirror back. <laughs> okay, time to roll. Not discussing this with you before. <laughs> <laughs> not thank you for speaking goblin. No, not okay. my magic cabin, my non-magic cabin self. We'll just oh, we're rolling right initiative. Yeah. Sixteen. Ten. You don't get one, right? 16. 16. Yeah, she doesn't get one. Alright. She's a really great person. So, I'm I have this thing myself. at the start of an encounter. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, I get combat advantage against foes that haven't acted yet. Right. I so, I get to roll two to her personally. So, where does that come into effect? Well, the mirror must be here too. You need to roll two d20s. Where is that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you, um, if you get the initiative, the basically, mm -hmm. you have rub combat the face advantage. Down. Okay. Rub if your if your team down? gets the initiative she gave us that for the first round. Caller. Okay. Even if you're not opposite of. of so what? Game. I mean, how does this? I don't know. She must come with an arm. So basically. <laughs> If you guys get the higher initiative, yes. and you well, guys act first, I yes. okay. the face you attack first before okay. they do, yes. like then you something. get combat advantage because you're because kind of like, we it's kind of like you've surprised like, the enemy. Got it. Releases so so you're getting your combat advantage is just saying you're rolling 2d20s <laughs> because you're good. you have combat advantage. <laughs> sure. yeah, I don't know that we should ever rub that stone. Okay. Okay. Like you would when you when you had normal combat. But don't I already have that? Normally you wouldn't have that unless you're opposite of a character. Oh, right. Okay. But you get it if you oh. act first. If you guys act first in the round, okay. you get it for the first round. Okay. Because the, because the enemy's kind of surprised. Okay. Because you're taking advantage of their surprise. Got it. Okay. Okay, so what'd you get? Well, who's got the highest? So I got 16. 16. We both had 16. All right. I got 22, too. I guess I go first. Well, right. okay then. Look who's rolling high over there. <sighs> Stupid Can I move behind again or not? Said I'm I promoted. Able to do before, yeah, can she? Because I was able to do it before. Can I do it? Like now? there was really, you moved her in front. She didn't decide to move in front. There was really no reason. Yeah, she could have talked around me. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That's what we did the last time too. Okay. So. So, um, the goblin behind the curtain. It's a bell. Oh my god. Oh, come okay. on. He rushes out from the curtain. Okay. Open the opens the door, door and runs out. What? Does anybody want to try to intercept him? I would. Okay. Protect me, you fool! So, so when you come, he you. intercepts you. Anybody else going to try to intercept? Or um, is it just a one person thing? No, anybody else can. I try. What do we do? What do we... Uh, just say you want to intercept him. Oh. I want to I'll try, try to him. intercept him. Okay. You want to go first? Or? I think well, we are in would. front of me. Like, we're all going to try to stop him. Okay. So there. There. Do, have armor do you want to be close or do you want to be back? Back side. Okay. All right. Do we want her that close? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So as he tries to run out the door, uh, you guys stop him. Okay. All right. So I have the higher initiative, so I go first. So I've moved. Everybody's. Every, you guys have all moved. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So. Why can't I? How, why can't she use? So I can use that whole advantage thing. 
move our okay. own character. So him moving. Well, I know. Why exactly the door? Move ourselves. Oh, you can move yourself. That's fine. So put yourself in between the yeah. two goblins. Oh, put me. You have to be facing that one. Huh? You don't have to. I mean, the oh. figure and faces the, 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 Yeah, her. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay. That works. Okay. <clears throat> um, now, he will get an attack of opportunity as you guys pass. So, who wants to go first? Because he only has one attack of opportunity. What? As the two of you pass this goblin, he gets an this attack one? of opportunity. Yes. So... Which one? Which one of you wants to take the attack of opportunity? Um, I will take it since I have a plus two to armor class against opportunity attack. Oh, okay, cool. I did not realize that. So now you have an eighteen versus opportunity attack. So that's good. Uh, and I still hit you. Okay, that's fine. So take five points of damage. Say, poke you! <laughs> he said, poke you. I poke you. I poke you. Alrighty. All right. So, so now the goblins go first. So let me see who attacks. I'm gonna randomize it. If he attacks Mora or Duflon first, the goblin. Uh, he would have attacked me because he intercepted me. Oh yeah, that's true. He did. He did intercept you. Right. Okay, so he attacks Mora. Uh. All right, that's a crit. Uh, ten points of damage. Oh. Wow. He jams you on your spear as you try as you run out. <laughs> then uh, that the bigger guy, the guy with the big club, swings around in a wild arc with his club. He seems to be a little tougher than the average G goblin. <laughs> <laughs> so he swings at um, Duflump. Uh, that's a miss. Duflump nimbly evades his attack. Leona. Ah, uh, shit, that's a crit. Cool. Uh, uh, so that's why uh, I have some food in my clothes. She takes <laughs> 12 points of damage. Holy crap, holy. <laughs> Take that, big ones, and stand. I sorry, Mr. Shorty. Okay. All right, your guys' turn. We don't know their stats. Don't know what? Their oh, stats. We don't oh, I'm stats. sorry. Yeah. Like I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna activate this little encounter thingy. So until the start of my next turn, the next ally who hits the target and has combat advantage against it deals extra damage against it equal to my sink. Attack damage. Okay, there's the the guy with the club. Ballgrown. And there's the other guy. Okay. Got the spear. So I'm gonna say. Oh, so he's one. And he's, okay. he's a unique guy, so put you can put in the in their bow okay. or BA wow. so you know it's him. Okay. He seems to be like a leader type. We definitely want to get a hold of him. Okay. What is that one thing, the lucky squirmisher, that makes me harder to hit when I run? Oh, I don't know. Where is it? Part of the thingy that I picked. Print it out on here. Oh, you're harder to hit when you run. So is that the plus two it? versus? Hmm? Maybe that's the plus two versus. Plus two. Oh one. no, because you have a nimble reaction. Okay. So I want me to go ahead and go. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and go. Well, I'll go ahead and go. So yeah, I'll I give can you. Knock them down. <clears throat> Wait, I would have ran. Right, right, no, I understand that. I'll yeah. take that into account next time. 
Okay. Because I don't remember all the rolling and everything. But what, I mean, how does that play out? Like, all right, it'll give me a negative to hit. How how do we know what the negative is? Uh, I know what it is. Oh. Did you take my spirit bear? Oh, did I? Oh, I must have. I sure did. Yeah, I'm using the action point. Passing people, so that's the thing I was thinking of for passing people. That's better. Okay. That's the one I was 18. thinking of. Okay. Oh, the running? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Like when I'm passing people. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. All right. I knew there was something. That would make sense. Yeah. I used an action point to reroll. Oh, okay. Um. And get both. Are you using an area effect? Yes. Okay. So you'll both. you'll. You could hit your friends with that. It's not discretionary. It's not discretionary. No. What is it? It's just most a area wind. effects. Most area effects aren't discretionary. I mean, well, it depends on what it says. Right. What's it say? Okay. Each creature in the burst. Yeah, that would be your friends too. No. <laughs> You're gonna kill her. <laughs> you can use your attack roll on your other attack. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just use it on my other one. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It's trying to be helpful. Alright, so that works. I can't use this. I have to use this. Huh, oh, really? So that would be 9 damage on Baldwin. Okay. Hmm. Well, that was only 9 because I rolled a 1. <laughs> Man, our D8s are all on timeout. Why is that? <laughs> Bad D8s. Bad D8s. Really? That one, one, two, one, two. So... Are you done? I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see what, which one might not suck. Can I go? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, you, have I you have combat advantage with... Uh, I'm ones. doing Leona first. Oh, okay. 2 6 She's going to summon her... Oh, did you use your power? Spirit yeah. companion. Who, who are you going to use it on? I have to pick one. Yeah, you have to pick a person. Target is one. One creature. That would be the biggie. The well, big guy. Yeah, the big guy. I'm going to move over. Mora's going to move over. And All right, big guy. Okay. Ball sack or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to summon my spirit companion. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You are sneaky as shit. Mm -hmm, I am. <laughs> okay, she's going to spend the healing surge. I'm going to use this. So, yeah. so how do you like the intercept? That wasn't too bad, huh? Because normally the guy would have got away. Right. Yeah, I like the intercept. So. Can she... Been. Is a is taking a potion a minor action? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Actually, she's going to... Use her is a minor action, you said. It's a minor action to use a potion. Do you get more than one minor action? You can convert a standard action to a minor action. Okay. Or a move action to a minor action. And what does a what does a potion give me? Again? But you already moved, so you can't do that. A potion gives you your healing surge value plus one d eight in healing. I don't need that much. Oh well, I guess yeah. He hit you pretty good, didn't he? Yes. So I'm gonna convert my standard action. Okay. One d eight. Yeah, one d eight extra healing. Of course, I roll a nine. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't need it, right? Okay. And so, are they considered adjacent to the spirit animal? Yes. Because they're next to it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you get a plus two, you get a plus one to your fortitude. Okay. Reflex and wheel. Oh, that's nice. And you get, uh, oh no, not yet. No, they, yeah, so that's what you get. Okay. Now, uh, remind me of that. Yes. 
if I use a fortitude or a will attack. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. So Mora is going to move. I can't move again, can I? No. You can move so if you want to. If you want to use your if you want to use your standard action as a move, you can. I know, but then I can't hit the guy. No, you can't. I, unless I use an action point. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. There we go. Okay, now he has attack of opportunity, so he didn't get it. Can I stand like that and still be next to this guy? Yes. My minor action, I'm marking them both. Okay. Nice. Here's my action point. All right. And I'm going to... Did you give an action point to everybody for the new encounter? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I don't. I thought I did, yes. Okay. I don't know. I had 10 at the start of the encounter. Yes, yeah, so yeah, sure. yeah. I'm not a good one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I have so, nine, so I can get another one. <laughs> I'm yeah, going yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Use them or lose them. <laughs> hate to hate to throw them away. <laughs> I would always I was always trying to keep nine, so if you get one. Right, yeah. right. You're not wasting it. No, that's or true. Losing it. Yeah, you can do what she did too, using using other Action point is another action, as another standard or move action. Oh, nice. oh, my marking is a free action. Right. My minor action is. Can I put the things on the spirit companion? What things? I have a guardian thorns. Mm hmm. And it says, when an enemy marked by you hits or misses that target, the enemy takes five damage. So can the spirit companion be killed? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, he yes. disappears. Okay. He doesn't attack. How many hit points does he have? Your hit, it's, your, your, uh, it's usually your, um, your bloody value. No, it's, okay. It lacks hit points. Okay. If a single melee or ranged attack deals damage to the spirit equal to 10 plus one half your level oh, or okay. higher, okay. the spirit disappears okay. and you take damage equal to five plus one half your level. Okay. Otherwise, the spirit is unaffected. Wow. So it has to do a lot of damage to it. Uh -huh. One attack. Right. Does that much damage. Right. Okay. So Mora is going to attack him with yes. and that's a hit. Seventeen, yeah. Okay. Uh, so she does. Yeah. Fifteen points of damage to ball sack. Okay. Fifteen ball points sack. of damage to ball sack. Ball sack. Fifteen, 15 nice. points of damage to ball sack. That's what and number one also yeah. takes four damage. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ten. Was that you and Warren? Like, that was me. Okay. What's ball sack up to? Twenty-four. Shit. <clears throat> is the ball sack bloody? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I didn't. The, I, he had the thing on it where I do extra damage, right? I didn't roll it. 2d6. 2d6. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Nine. Oh. Additional damage. Okay, nine more damage. Okay, so that's 30, three. Three. Ouch. Okay. Is he dead yet? He's not dead. Mm. <laughs> Alrighty then. He can't move out of the door. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I'm trying to understand this part of this piece. Okay. So 
the way I'm understanding it, uh -huh. I'll, I'll let you read it. Okay, so basically it just means that um, I'm going to use my second wind as a minor action. Okay, so you attack if you attack a target. And it attacks you back before your next turn. Mm -hmm. You get to interrupt and attack it. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like in between all these that. attacks, I could pull this out and be like, "No, I'm actually." Right. If you have to say that's going to be your attack, and then you know what I'm saying. Right, but yeah. I mean, I, it can go into play in this where we keep attacking back and forth. Oh yeah. Oh heck so, yeah. Heck so yeah. if we don't kill, then I can pull this out on one of them. Oh yeah. And say. Oh yeah. I would use that attack mostly. Actually, unless you just needed to shift for some reason, mm -hmm. you would use this one all the time, except when you want to shift to get in combat. Right, but I mean, I can get stop. I can stop them from attacking me. Right, you interrupt with, them and like, attack first. Them. Right, so you might kill them before they right. even get a blow on you. Right, so I actually right. get my turn and then get another turn if they try to attack exactly. me. Exactly, exactly. So that's what I was trying to figure out, like right. in all the previous times. Oh right. So oh yeah. It's not. An opportunity attack is just I can use this any time right. to interrupt any right. attack, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, if you so if it's the target you attacked, if if you attacked him with that, and then he attacked you, you wouldn't get an attack on him. Only the per target you attacked. Okay. 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 Got it. But usually it's going to be the case because the target's next to you right. that you're attacking, so right. it's usually going to attack you back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's my turn. Yeah. So everybody else went. All right, so uh, I do this. You put a strike. Oh yeah. You're right there. So, well, no, but the number one has no damage. Right. No, he has four. Yeah. Oh, does he? Awesome. Yeah, he got a little bit of damage. I'm sorry, I missed that. Stinging nettles. <laughs> right. All right. So he has some. Um, Stinging nettle, bitch. Big dude. <laughs> That's thirty-three damage. That's thirty-three damage. I would say so if you attack the if you attack ball sack, mm -hmm. then you get the you get a combat advantage. If you attack the other guy, you don't. Okay, I want the combat advantage. Heck yeah! <laughs> so what is it? Two. So you do the repost strike, and you get to roll two dice and take the highest. Okay, for the for the hit. For the repost strike, yeah, for the hit. Or for the hit. Twenty. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you do max damage. Okay. So, so you're doing you're doing your. Um, so you do eight for that, plus twelve for your sneak attack. So you're doing twenty points see. of damage. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> so, so twenty points. Fifty three. Yeah. Is he dead? Uh, he drops dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was just for the hit. I didn't know that was for the actual. Well, once you, when you roll a crit, uh -huh. you do maximum damage. Oh. So you max that damage, and then you were doing sneak attack, so that's 2d6, oh. so you max that, so that's 12 plus 8. So you got yeah. 20 points of damage. So rolling a crit is great. Okay. <laughs> rolling a 20 is great, because not only do you get an action point, you get you do maximum damage on your attack. Okay. You have to watch him try to kill the spirit animal to get out of the room. <laughs> oh, so he's dead. So he drops dead. Wow, that was great. So, okay. Ball is dead. Can we grab the other guy and ask questions? Uh, sure. <laughs> he seems kind of stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't like the brothers. I don't know that they shared a lot with him. But he might know, let's say, <laughs> where he like, tell us Oh, he stuff. might be able to know, might, like, where's Elf Bitch? Like, and where things is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, like, basically where things are. Mm -hmm. I love that where things is. Where things is. Okay. <laughs> where things is. Where, okay. Where it be at. Yeah. Where it be at. You see. Is the alarm still ringing? It went off. Okay. It's not ringing now. Okay. Okay, but you do see through the door. Full army. Pissed of off goblins. Can we close the door? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So that's just that, so that, that have counter a lock is it? done. Do we? I mean, are we yeah, resting? Yeah, it does. Gonna, can we close the door and lock it? Uh, yes. What? Can we rest for just a second? Uh, or not? I don't think we can. No. We're just not, not if the door is open. Yeah, resting. Yeah, resting is not really an option probably right now. 
Okay. It's like there was a thing here. <laughs> what is that? What is that? It's a big pokey machine. Something doesn't look very good. Where is that elf chick? <clears throat> I think we missed anything in that fear hallway. <clears throat> they killed Bagron! <clears throat> they killed Bulsa. So you see, it's got a couple goblins, uh, and they lob arrows in real quick. And there's only two of them. Shouldn't we just go kill them real quick? And well, that's all you see in the, right now. Okay. Uh, arrow whizzes past Mora, and an arrow hits Duflump for five points of damage. I can't use that thingy. No, that's only on a melee attack. So when you melee it. attack. I'm Do you want to use your uh, second chance? Um, no. Okay. Take five points of damage. Okay, so you may as well slam the door shut. And lock it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so are, can we question the dude? So you hear him banging on the door. Can we question the dude? Uh, yeah. Can we drag him into the secret passage and sh and close it? Uh, he's not he's not down though yet. I know we're gonna grab him. Oh, okay. We want to question him. We don't want him dead. Has everybody attacked? Yes. Okay. All right. Doing a quick scan of the room. Do we see anything that might be useful? Uh, like what, what kind like of? Like on the desk. A map, papers. Uh, there do looks like some papers. Okay. Where is the elf bitch? Stuff like that. <laughs> She's my new obsession. Okay, so he's running. He's running out for this speaker passage. Intercept. He wants to intercept. I will. Well. Put back on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Everybody intercepting. We're all intercepting. Okay. We are not running away. Not holding him. Okay, so you leap in front of him before he gets to the passage. The spirit companion can move with us. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, um, he attacks first. So let's see who's attacking. He goes after Leona. Akokyo! The lady for five points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> It was after the person directly behind him. Course, after, you, did... after you heal, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So now, if you want to try to, you want to try to grapple a goblin, or you want to, you want to beat him into submission. We can like zap him a little bit. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to kill him. We well, yeah. Him you can like, you can like pull your attacks and like not kill him. Well, what would we have to do to grapple him? Because I feel like that would be faster. Okay, it might be. Um, he, she's she's all burly over there. Let, let her grapple. Uh, I don't get dirty. You like have that. to hit his reflex. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. With your basic attack. My basic melee attack. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Okay. He's grabbed. Okay. So, let's talk to him. All right. Let me go. Let me go. Tell us everything you know. My friends are going to come and flay you alive! Okay, we're going to flay you alive first if you don't zip it. Oh, really? So like, zap, I'll be like lightning crackling out of my fingers. Shut it! Okay, so what do you know about the castle? Like, or the keep? The keep. I mean, where... I... Nothing! I don't know nothing! Zap is about it. Ah! Ow! 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 Stop it! Okay. 
Stop it, witch! While we're questioning him, can Leona go look over on the desk and see if she sees anything yeah, important? Yeah, yeah. You want to know and peek behind the reason. curtain? Okay. Well, I'm trying to get... Peek behind the curtain. The general layout of the keep. Oh. Well, I was trying to not be so one... You see a nice little comfy bed. Like, so focused on... And a the chest. Yeah. Okay. What's in the chest? Okay, so do I see anything on the desk? Do you want to open the chest? In a minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the desk? Um, Does it look like anything we can use? Uh, it looks like um, nothing really that important. Just kind of the daily operation of the, like, to, like letters to Calarell about the daily operation. What is the daily operation? Yeah. Uh, basically, they're digging in that in the other room that you've heard the digging in. Mm -hmm. They're looking for some magical artifacts. It doesn't say where the rift room is. No. Doesn't say anything really important. Okay. Any connection? To Just that? kind of what the goblins are up to. Okay. So. Any elf information on the desk? No. Yeah. But he did recognize. Okay, I know that already. <laughs> Stop rubbing it in there, actress. I'm just, I'm just saying. Jezebel, be quiet. <laughs> Evil. Never trust an elf. Stupid. I know. That's why I told you that. <laughs> well, you should have told us that then. That's not nice. Okay, I so. Never, I never trust an elf. <laughs> All right. So the little dude that we're questioning. Yeah. Um, does he has he seen the elf today? No. She doesn't talk to me. Well, have you just seen her? Not even talked to her. Have you seen? Has her? she talked to? I don't Balsack? see her. She lives on that stupid town and spies on everybody. Or the master. Oh, God. Where is the master? Uh, he down in the basement getting an e demon rift open. Which way is the basement? Uh, it's back towards that. Bad thing. That hall with the bat in it. We don't go in there. It's scary. How do you get through it? I don't know. I don't go in there. What about the past? Goblins aren't allowed in there. Oh, God. Stupid. Do we think the password works, though? Or do we think that it's like gonna. Password? What password? No. Oh, yeah. Balgrad knew the password. Ah. I don't know, it might. I told you that hall had more to it. That whole, well, what you saw, like his little vagary that he did. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> while we're doing this, Leona's gonna open the chest. Okay. You sure? Yes. Okay. You find a few thousand gold. So a lot of gold. And. <laughs> what does he do that? You sure? <laughs> yes, we're sure. Open the chest. <laughs> Well, it could have been trapped. I well, know, but I was thinking that I usually don't trap stuff that's in your bedroom. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. true. <laughs> Unless yeah. you're a sneaky goblin. Okay, stupid elf chick. You Girl. find two potions of healing. So you can distribute those who you want. Okay. Keep it for the on chick. <laughs> she <Yeah>. needs it. <laughs> well, she's just a level one. Poor thing. Oh. Well, the rest of us are just level two. Why are we talking like... It's a whole world of difference. <laughs> and you find a circlet that goes on your head. Um, it seems magical. So, Ithlora does a little bit of magic divine reading on it. And here's what it is. Well, I'm kicking the little dude. Okay, so it's a daily power. Uh, and when you fail a saving throw, you can re-roll the saving throw using the second result, even if it's lower. Nice. So whoever wants it. Do you have a magic item? Go. Yeah. I, I have. <clears throat> I have some boots or Do something. you have a magic oh. item? Oh, no. No. Bracers. Oh, bracers. Bracers of enforced regret. Sweet. I have boots. Here, you what can What about have the it? new character? Well, I mean... Well, she's just an NPC. Yeah, yeah, I would too, yeah. We don't get magic items. No, hell no. They're not <laughs> sitting here. They're not getting a magic item. That's what I'm saying. Well, and I'm holding those. So if you fail a saving throw, you can re-roll it. Okay. Yeah. 
without having to use an actual one. That's okay. nice. That is pretty nice, actually. Cool. All right. All right. So cool. Ask him how often he's seen the ALF here. Uh, she beats with the boss. I don't have anything to do with that. Okay. How many goblins are The door are here? is starting to break. Huh? Why don't we make here. the goblin go with us to go up and up the doors that we need? Why? So we can yell at the people working? Um, yeah, I don't um, think that's a good idea. Kill them. Let's go. Can we slit his throat? Yes. Okay. Do it. Dead. <laughs> Alright, All right. let's go into the secret passage and, and seal it up. So go out of it? Out, yeah. Out. Yeah. So, are can you we sure? jam the button, the stone, to make it not work? Yes. Okay. Like nail it. Yeah. Thing into it. Yeah. All right, we do that. It should not cause any alarm since there's hammering in the other room. Like nobody should know this. Oh, there he did. Stupid bell. Right. I also wanted to mention that uh, the uh, sounds you hear in the video, the music and the sounds, are generated from a program called Sirenscape, uh, which you can get free online and has a couple of sound sets that come with it, but most of the sound sets you have to purchase separately. But I found this was a great program. I really enjoyed using it for this game. So I will have, in the description, I will have a link to their website. So if anybody was interested in the music or the sound effects in the game, that's where they came from. Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!